If you're serious about beating cancer, these 10 foods need to be on your plate, no exceptions. Whether you're in the middle of treatment or you finished long ago, these foods can help your body fight cancer and keep it from coming back. Now I know what you're probably wondering, if these foods are so important, why didn't my doctors tell me about them? Your doctors may have told you to just eat a balanced diet or just eat whatever you want after cancer because it doesn't matter. That's horrible advice and that's something that really needs to change. The truth is that what you eat can make your treatments more effective and help you beat cancer. Now these 10 foods aren't the only cancer fighting foods out there, but they are some of the most important ones. Plus I'll be giving you some easy meal ideas that combine a lot of these foods so you can get the most out of each bite. Starting with my all time favorite, avocados. They're loaded with important nutrients you need after cancer, like omega-3s, magnesium, potassium, and antioxidants. These antioxidants can stop the growth of precancerous and cancerous cells because, fun fact, we all have precancerous cells in our body right now. But as long as they don't grow, there's nothing to worry about. The reason I love avocados is because I'm obsessed with guacamole. But did you know that guacamole has five cancer-fighting ingredients in it? Avocados, tomatoes, garlic, onion, and lime. And you can even throw in some cancer-fighting herbs like cilantro or parsley on top of that. So don't be afraid to pile guac onto your eggs, salads, honestly anything. You won't regret it. Now if you love Italian food, you'll love this next one. Oregano. This powerful cancer-fighting herb contains something called Carvacrol, which not only slows the growth of cancer cells, but it can also reduce chronic inflammation in your body, which is another important factor in lowering your cancer risk. Oregano oil has been used for centuries in natural medicine for things like lowering cholesterol, improving gut health, and as a natural antibiotic. Amazing, right? So here's a really good tip. Washing your veggies in water with a couple drops of oregano oil can kill dangerous bacteria like E. coli and Salmonella, which is especially important if you're on cancer treatments like chemo or radiation and your immune system is compromised. I always try to add as much dried or fresh oregano as possible when I'm making tomato sauce. And speaking of tomatoes, this is another top cancer fighting food because they're extremely high in something called lycopene. This is a very powerful antioxidant proven to prevent cancer, especially prostate cancer. And if you don't like eating tomatoes raw, don't worry, your body actually absorbs more lycopene from cooked tomatoes. So think of ways you can add more tomato sauces, soups, or even roasted tomatoes to your meals. You can also get lycopene from fruits like watermelon, apricots, pink grapefruit, and papaya. But here's something important to know. Your body will absorb more lycopene from these foods when you eat them with a healthy fat. So like avocados, nuts, or olive oil. Another reason to add tomatoes to your guacamole. Now it's no secret that treatments like chemo or radiation can make you deficient in some really important nutrients like calcium, iron, magnesium, and B vitamins. So that's why I created a cancer nutrition guide that is full of recipes to help you fix these deficiencies. So click on the link below this video to check it out if you're interested. The next cancer fighting foods for your grocery list are berries and pomegranates. It's no surprise that these are called superfoods because they have more antioxidants than any other fruit. Honestly, they're like cancer fighting powerhouses. So if you're not eating a handful of berries or pomegranates every day, you're missing out. And if you find fresh berries too expensive, you can pick up a bag of frozen berries, especially the family sized ones at Costco, and they're usually a better value. According to the American Cancer Society, we should be eating two and a half to three cups of vegetables a day and one and a half to two cups of fruit a day. If you're thinking that's a lot, you're right, it is. And most people don't eat nearly that many. But I've got you covered in this video because some foods have a lot more cancer fighting properties than others. So if you focus on these 10, you'll be a step ahead. Okay, next up on our list is salmon. Salmon is one of the best sources of omega-3 fatty acids that will reduce inflammation, lower your blood pressure, support your heart health, and fight cancer. And getting your omega-3s from eating foods like salmon, nuts, or seeds is way more effective than taking an omega-3 supplement. Salmon is also a great source of B vitamins that repair DNA mutations which can lead to cancer. There are plenty of fish in the sea, but salmon will provide you with the most nutrients and health benefits than the rest. I aim to eat salmon once or twice a week for cancer prevention, and so should you. So next time you're out for dinner, swap out that burger for a nice salmon filet, and your body will thank you. The next cancer fighting food on our list actually pairs well with salmon, and that's dark green vegetables like broccoli, kale, or spinach. Now, I know that a lot of people don't love the taste of these veggies, but they're loaded with vitamins that kill cancer cells, like vitamins C and E, and nutrients that'll give you more energy after cancer, like potassium and magnesium. So if you don't love the taste of spinach or broccoli, try chopping them up finely and adding them to your sauces or stir fries. And the more herbs and seasonings you add in as well, the less you'll taste them. 
You can even add spinach to a smoothie, which I know if you've never tried it may seem a little unappetizing, but if you're blending it with yogurt and milk and fruit, I promise you won't taste it at all. I always add spinach to my tomato sauces along with my oregano and a ton of garlic. Garlic is the next cancer fighting food I wanna talk about and it's been used for centuries to improve immunity and decrease inflammation because it contains special sulfur compounds that help prevent cancer cells from developing, especially esophageal, stomach, and colon cancer cells. You see, cancer cells love to grow in an inflammatory environment. So I always say that reducing inflammation is the name of the game when it comes to cancer prevention. But if you're wondering what I mean by systemic inflammation, I have another video for you to watch next called The Secret to Fighting Cancer. Some of the best cancer fighting foods for lowering inflammation are nuts and seeds, especially walnuts and flax seeds. To be honest, I don't know about you, but I don't love the taste of walnuts. They're not as tasty as say almonds or pecans, but walnuts are so good at reducing inflammation that they're recommended for people with inflammatory illnesses like rheumatoid arthritis or irritable bowel syndrome. And flax seeds are not only just as good at reducing inflammation, they're also a great source of fiber. Just one tablespoon of ground flax seeds has two grams of soluble fiber that will help to regulate your blood sugar levels and prevent constipation, which let's be honest, is a side effect from chemo that nobody wants to deal with. And for those of you with high cholesterol, there was a study done on people with heart disease, which proved that eating a few tablespoons of flaxseed a day lowered their LDL or bad cholesterol by 15% in only one month. That's huge. You may think of walnuts or flax seeds as being more for desserts like cookies or muffins, but you can also roast them and add them to salads, roasted vegetables, or ground them up and use them as a coating for chicken or fish. So I've already gone over eight of the 10 top cancer fighting foods, but number nine is arguably the most powerful spice for fighting cancer, and that is turmeric. There is now evidence that turmeric can help your body fight off cancer cells in at least eight different ways. Just to name a few, it can help slow the growth of cancer cells, make them more sensitive to treatments like chemo or radiation, and help to keep them from spreading to other parts of the body. Now I know that some cancer survivors take turmeric supplements, but they can actually be dangerous if you have certain health conditions, so please run it by your doctor first. My favorite way to eat turmeric is in a turmeric latte, which I showed you how to make in my video titled 5 Antioxidant Drinks to Help You Fight Cancer. But you can also start adding turmeric to your sauces or soups or curries, and it's so good for you that you might as well start today. The last cancer fighting food on our list is plain old Greek yogurt. Did you know that Greek yogurt can help with the brain fog, also known as chemo brain, that makes you lethargic and forgetful? This is because it's such a good source of probiotics, the good bacteria that you need for a healthy gut and a strong immune system. On top of that, Greek yogurt is a great source of calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus, which are all extremely important nutrients for your bones. As we age, we naturally lose bone density, especially as women after menopause, and then cancer treatments, especially chemo and hormone therapy, can also do a number on your bone density. So if you're not already taking a calcium supplement, ask your doctor if you should be, or make sure you're eating enough foods that contain these three vitamins to prevent further bone loss. Your body's been through a lot with cancer, so make sure you're giving it all of the nutrients it needs throughout treatment and well beyond. So if you want to learn about all of the important nutrients that will help your body beat cancer, click on the link below this video. I'm also leaving you with another important video to watch on how to keep your immune system in top shape. Thanks for watching and subscribing and I'll see you next time.